He was holding a gun to my head. What could I do? Is a common way to refer to a situation in which we feel like we didn't have a choice. We'll find out what happens when someone is pushed to make a contract by a threat that is a tad less metaphorical in Duncan versus Hensley. Grady Duncan and Joyce Hensley were married for several years and owned property together. They later decided to divorce. As part of their divorce agreement, Hensley got the farm, furniture, and farm animals. However, soon after, Duncan threatened to kill Hensley if she didn't agree to sign over the property to Duncan. Hensley had seen Duncan in violent rages in the past and was scared that he'd follow through on his threat. Hensley went with Duncan to a realtor and had the farm and animals transferred to Duncan in a bill of sale. Hensley filed suit in the Newton County Chancery Court, arguing that the transfers should be canceled because they were only made because of Duncan's threats. The Chancery Court determined that Hensley was under duress and canceled the transfers. Duncan appealed to the Arkansas Supreme Court.